the most important factors here in Lake Geneva has always been tire choice. All these teams and drivers have got to figure out what tire are we going to use. We're going to start off on asphalt. You're going to jump right into the dust and dirt. First corner is going to be muddy. Could be loamy. You get off in the farmer's field, could no, no telling what you might need there. Three tires. If it's going to be dry, they're going to use this tire right here. Closed up pattern. Get down. This will get them through that hard surface and get right down and give you a good drive. Good for the asphalt. Loamy. Loose soil, this would be the one right here. A little more, little more void area, a little better drive off this one. But if it's muddy, they've got to go to the mud tire. Lots of void, get down to that hard soil, dig, a lot of drive off here. If you've got 800 horsepower and you don't get it down to the ground, believe me, you're not going to win here at Lake Geneva. Today, track conditions are changing here. Track is getting faster. I'd be doing exactly what these other guys are doing. They're looking at tires. Two to choose from, the all-terrain tire or the mud tire. I think I'd stay away from the mud tire just because there's not enough rubber on the ground. Way too much void area. I'd come to this tire, but yet I'd have a grooving iron out. I'd open it up a little bit just to get around those loose, loamy corners that we've got here. I think the guy that puts the most amount of rubber down on this particular track is going to be the winner. This rock. This is the kind of rock that I would be worried about here at Crandon, believe me. That thing would really hurt if it hit you upside the head or take a radiator out. Plus, they give you a flat tire. But the only thing you can do with a rock like that Try and drive around it. That, that rock will give just about anybody, anybody's tire a flat. The tire choice seems to be the mud terrain. The reason the guys are choosing this particular tire is because of these loose, tight corners. They want to get drive out of the corners. If it were me, I would be doing the, what the guys in the background are doing, taking even more rubber out to give me even more bite, more drive out of those corners. We know we got to have horsepower here at Cranon. But if you don't get that horsepower to the ground, you're not going to win any of these races. Even though this track looks dry and dusty, it really isn't. It's really a tricky, unique track. And the corners are the secret. They're loamy. They're loose. They're spongy. The tire choice has been this mud terrain tire. This is a stock tire. This is a modified. The rear tire, what they're doing is taking lots and lots of this rubber out. The reason they do that, they want this tire to dig and churn, get down to that hard soil and drive to the next corner. That's the rear tire. Front tire putting big, big, long lateral grooves around the circumference. And what that does, that enables the guy to dive into this corner, stick the front end, power slide out, and accelerate to the next corner. That's the only way you're going to win here.